Our team started our design process in making our chair by observing and watching videos of others attempting to build the lightest cardboard chair as well. After some inspiration, we wrote down exactly what we needed to keep in mind throughout this process, which is aesthetic character, function, durability, safety, and that in this situation, less is more. Next, our group began brainstorming by proposing different design ideas. As soon as our first idea was agreed upon, we made it into a sketch to help us visualize throughout the process of building. When the sketch was complete, we precisely outlined and cut out the pieces needed for our prototype and assembled our cardboard model by conjoining two pieces for the base and adding a back. As you can see, our model wasn't quite strong enough and test number one was a failure. After our first failed test, we learned from our mistakes and knew exactly how to refine our initial design. We decided that to make the chair sturdier, we should have the legs lower to the ground and make sure our seat cover is securely folded in all corners to prevent the person that's using the chair from sliding off. After improving our design, we created our second sketch and prototype, this time using more than twice as many pieces for the seat to make it more durable. We then tested the model and it was a success. After multiple prototypes and failures, it was finally time to implement our plan. We constructed the life-size version of our prototype, resulting in a functional and durable chair able to comfortably hold a person that weighs over 200 pounds. 